Brett Allen from the Brett Allen Show chatting with Liz Allen, the mastermind behind this fantastic show, Stickerella. Liz, thank you for your time today. It's a pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you too. This is a lot of fun. And for somebody who is in a generation who grew up wanting sneakers, love sneakers, uh, but couldn't always necessarily get the pair that he wanted, uh, this gives hope for a future generation. Yeah. How did you come about this story? Uh, because it's just, it's a lot of fun and very real in so many different ways. Well, uh, the script came to me and it was a, the germ of the idea of, um, you know, the shoe of Sneakerella being modernized in the sneaker culture and the gender swap of like a feminist fairy tale all in one package. So I was really, I aggressively pursued getting the job because I was so excited about the idea of, you know, reworking the tropes and turning it on its head. Um, so yeah, that's how, that's how it came to me. I, I, I made it happen. I, I pursued it quite aggressively. <laughs> yeah. And that's the one thing that I like. You mentioned something very interesting, uh, taking a story that, you know, does have tropes to it and, and sort of stylized in a way and making it fresh and new. I'm very curious, obviously this script probably came to you the traditional way, like most things do, um, maybe in an email, I don't know how it worked. Uh, but when you are faced with a project like this and you really want to make it different and make it your own, um, do you have a specific process that you like to use, Liz, to sort of get into that mindset when you really want to create something special and unique like Sneakerella? Well, you know, getting a movie like this musical was a a real treat and, and it was something that was hard to achieve but I decided much like Elle in the movie <laughs> that I was just gonna like pour my heart into it and so I spent several hundred hours um, practicing and putting together a pitch and I had visual imagery and ideas for each character and what kind of shoes they each would kind of represent and I had all sorts of um, visuals for Disney about like how to exteriorize imagination and um, how to make New York come to life um, and capture the essence of Astoria versus Manhattan in that sort of class culture. Um, and so I, and I practiced it. I practiced it every night for weeks. Um, and um, I would, I have mentees, my interns that would be very diligent about sitting there with me late at night and hearing my pitches. Um, and so by the time I was able to put it in front of about 35 people, by the time I got to my last pitch, uh, I felt like it was pretty watertight. Wow. I love that. I mean, such dedication to the craft and to storytelling. Uh, I'm excited for people to watch uh, Sneakerella on Disney Plus when they have the opportunity. This is just a lot of fun and congratulations on this. It's always nice to be able to see something that the entire family uh, can enjoy and not have to worry about uh, muting the ears of my seven-year-old or having to <laughs> immediately grab for the fast forward remote, you know, totally. trying to sneak in uh, adult themes. Totally. Thank you so much, uh, Liz Allen. It's been an honor chatting with you and congratulations on this. Oh, likewise. Project. Thank you.